Hey, what's going on, fam? Look, it's never been a better time to wholesale real estate nationwide. And one of the number one questions I get is, how do we determine repair costs when it comes to wholesaling real estate remotely in another state or another city? So let's get right into it, y'all. Look, so let's jump right into this. When you are wholesaling real estate uh, remotely, um, the way I teach is, before you start evaluating the property and trying to come up with your numbers, an uh, estimate, an uh, offer, um, a repair estimate, it's crucial to understand that is the neighborhood in, in which the property is located, is that a rental neighborhood or is that a homeowner neighborhood? This is the first thing I like to determine when I'm about to submit an offer to a seller for a property. And when I say a rental neighborhood, a rental neighborhood means that the majority of the neighborhood is being rented out. It's probably owned by real estate investors. And in my opinion, in today's market, a rental neighborhood is properties where values are $120,000 and below. And then you got home ownership neighborhoods, which is the opposite. Most of these properties in these neighborhoods are owned by owners and people that actually have home ownership, not a rental. So it's two ways coming up with a repair estimate in my head without actually ever seeing the property in person. So the first way is really without having any information on the condition of the property, if it's a rental neighborhood, like I just described, I always determine that the property is going to need $30,000 of work. Now, when I'm talking to the homeowner and they saying it only needs carpet and paint and that's it, nine times out of 10, that's not true. So in my mind, I like to always use $30,000. Sometimes I might be off, but um, if I'm just trying to come up with a quick number, that's what I do. In a home ownership uh, neighborhood where property values are over 120,000, in my mind, $60,000 repair costs. Again, sometimes it might be too high, sometimes it might be too low. But if I'm trying to come up with an offer extremely fast, I'm using those repair estimates. You're not gonna be accurate, that's not the, the best way, but that is the quickest way. And even to this day, I do it if I'm trying to come up with a quick offer and I'm talking to a motivated seller and I know I can get them to sign immediately without you know playing the back and forth game and giving you a call back because I got to do all this due diligence. That's the repair estimates I'm basing it off of. So one more time, if it's a rental market where the values are 120000 and below, in my mind, is the $30,000 that this property is going to take to repair. If it's over $120,000, $60,000 repair costs. If you show this to a seasoned investor, they're going to say, hell no, don't do that. Again, this is my style of investing when it comes to wholesaling remotely um, to come up with a super quick offer. All right, so my second way of coming up a repair estimate, um, which is a more accurate way, it's not going to be to the penny, but it's definitely going to uh, be a lot a lot more useful for when you send that out to your cash buyers. When it comes to uh, renovations, right, you got a light renovation, a medium sized renovation, and then you have a large or extensive renovation. Let me explain the different types of renovations real quick, right? So a light renovation. A light renovation is a cosmetic renovation. Sometimes they call it a lipstick job, which consists of carpet and paint for the most part. That's it. Possibly some small bathroom upgrades. That is considered literally a lipstick job, uh, a cosmetic rehab, all right? So let's get to the next one. So a medium size renovation or an average size renovation would be all of the above. So carpet, paint, maybe some small bathroom upgrades, as well as replacing floors and also maybe some kitchen upgrades. So that's the definition of a medium um, average size renovation. And then you have a large renovation, which is all of the above, what carpet, paint, floors, upgrades to the bathroom, upgrades to the kitchen. Now we're gonna include even uh, maybe replacing a roof or repairing a roof, um, your mechanicals, your, your electrical, your plumbing, uh, HVAC. So everything, This a large renovation means that basically is a full gut job. Okay, knowing the difference between a small, average, and large renovation, now we can get into the details of how we can estimate how much the, the repairs is going to be for a particular property. So my rule of thumb is, is if a property is 1,500 square feet or lower, we wanna use these numbers. For a light renovation, 
we're going to say ten to fifteen thousand dollars for a light renovation so remember what i said what a light renovation is you know just carpet paint maybe some bathroom upgrades um so and that's going to be between ten to fifteen thousand dollars that's what our repair estimate is going to be when we talk to a homeowner and the property is 1500 square feet or less a light renovation we're going to estimate to be ten to fifteen thousand a medium sized renovation for a property that's 1500 or lower we're going to say twenty to thirty five thousand dollars for a medium sized renovation again this is for a property that's fifteen hundred square feet or less now for a, a large renovation we're going to be looking at forty to sixty k around that ballpark for a property that is fifteen hundred square feet or less so that are, that's the, that's how I come up with my repair estimates for a property that's 1,500 square feet or less. All right, now for a property that is 1,500 square feet to 2,500 square feet, this is how we're going to determine the repair estimates. So for a light renovation, we're going to say our repair estimate is between 15 to like 25, $30,000 for a light renovation. And when you're talking to a homeowner and they're and they're talking to you about the condition of the property, you'll get you more 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 lasered in on exactly where you want to be at when it comes between you know 15 to the 25k, 30k. And then we got for our average size renovation uh for a property that's 1500 square feet to 2500 we're looking anywhere between like 35 to about and this, and this is a big range because a house between 1500 and 2500 square feet um, that's a big difference in size so again talking to the homeowner and getting the condition is important but again we're not sending out contractors to the property we're going to determine this based off the information they are giving us so for a medium size renovation we're looking anywhere between 35 i would say to like 70k again that's a big range and you'll get a more accurate answer after talking to a homeowner but that's for a medium size renovation for a property that's 1500 square feet to 2500 square feet and for a large renovation for a property of that size we're going to be looking at 70,000 plus again based on the information they give us and of course right the bigger the house get the more renovation cost is going to be you're going to need more materials it's going to be more work involved now for a property that's that's between 2500 and 3500 square feet for a light renovation carpet paint maybe some small upgrades. We're looking anywhere between 25 to $35,000 for a property of that size, medium size renovation, 35 to up to up to 60 for average size renovation, right? And now when we get to a large to a larger renovation, again, a, a large renovation for a house that size, it can get a little tricky because depending on exactly what it needs, that's why I'm talking to the homeowner again is super important, but we're looking at, you know, maybe starting at 80k and up and the thing is, y'all, I just up, I just updated these estimates because it was a lot cheaper before. But I mean, if you in real estate, you understand that materials is a lot more expensive than they used to be, um, and even labor, man, hiring, finding people to do it for cheap, it still exists. But just to be on the safe side, it's best to use these numbers. Most of the properties we wholesale, it's typically thirty five hundred or less. Now, if the property is over 3,500 square feet, then you can adjust those numbers accordingly. But the most important part to all of this is, y'all, um, this is not the 1990s or the early 2000s where you got to hire a contractor to go out there, pay them. Because nine times out of 10, these days, contractors want to get paid to even give you a repair estimate. Um, and that, it wasn't like that back then, but people, contractors are tired of going out the properties and not getting the job to actually renovate the property. So they wanna get paid to do that. And instead of wasting all that time and wasting money, you can come up with these with these estimates yourself. They're not gonna be spot on, but they will be within five to $10,000 of the real cost. Wholesaling remotely hasn't been easier ever since I started back in 2012. And I've been using this same method to come up with my repair estimate for years. Um, and, I, and I'm not gonna lie, right? Sometimes I be off. Um, but I would say 80, 85% of the time, I'm within a five to ten thousand dollar range of where I need to be. So when I send it out to my buyers, they not beat me over the head saying this repair cost is completely off. If you want to wholesale remotely, or you want to wholesale even in your city, and you don't want to have to go out to the properties to see the condition with your own eyes or hire a contractor, go buy those numbers and I'll make it happen, man. So uh, hopefully I'll see y'all next week on the next video, man. Let's get it.